be named or to be honored Golf Professional of the Year in the Carolina section is a huge honor. Um, obviously, it's the largest section in the country, over 2,100 golf professionals, um, great golf professionals across the country, but certainly the great ones that I've met here in my 20 years time in North Carolina. From what I know from John, um, he's probably the most um, uh, dedicated, um, you know, person that really cares about other people. I mean, I think that that's probably why he's been so successful. Uh, John came to me, I was early on in my career at Round Hill, I was there for 34 years. In the 90s, John came to me, and he wasn't even working in the golf business. He was cleaning out beer lines for his dad's company. Came to me, loved, loved the game, and that's one of the things that with John, the, the passion that he had for the game. Yeah, he said, I just want to, I want to work in the golf business. I want to get in the golf business. So he started out on the range, quickly became my second assistant, and then my first assistant. From there, he went on to Seminole to work for Jerry Pittman, Pittman and then Bob Ford. And then, um, and then he moved on to Carolina. Over the years, uh, my mentors have meant a lot to me, whether they know they're my mentor or not, but really all the guys that I've worked for and worked with, um, uh, Jerry Pittman at Seminole Golf Club, uh, Bob Ford at Seminole Golf Club who followed Jerry, Tom Henderson who I worked for for seven years at Round Hill Club, and Nick Roberto who gave me my start and took me under his wing at Bruce Golf Course as a young, young man. Um, the advice that they give or gave me, um, it wasn't always direct mentorship, like this is what you need to do. It was just something that I followed, I watched, I observed them and how they acted with, with people and, and other staff and um, with members. And I am a big observer of people's behaviors. I really cherish those times that I've spent at these clubs and, and learning from everybody. To say that John was invaluable in my first year at Seminole and really set the tone for me is, would be an understatement. And uh, sadly for me, John got the job at Old Chatham that, that spring, so I only had the pleasure of working with him for one year. But he taught me a lot. He, uh, he really set the stage for me at Seminole for years to come. And uh, along with Andrew Shuck, who also was a, an incredible young assistant, um, you know, John was professional, uh, played no favorites. Uh, just everything that you'd want in a top assistant, uh, John was it. He mentored the younger guys, spent a lot of time with them, and uh, just can't say enough great things about uh, John as my assistant for that one year. I first met John Reno in, in the summer of 2003. It was at a very low part of my life. I was two years out of school. I was 24 years old. I had just been laid off from my first job, and I was completely scared about where life was going to go. I think. Many of us, when we get out of school, we think we've got life figured out and we're going to go conquer the world. And all of a sudden I've gone through something that I didn't expect. Um, but I'm so very fortunate that I met John, his wife, Jill, um, their first black lab, Hogan, in the summer of 2003. Um, they adopted me like family and they got me through a very hard time. And I think as I look at the last 18 years of my life and my career and all the things that I've gotten to be a part of, I think I remember how close I was to getting out of golf at that time. And I think if it hadn't been for John um, and the personal care that he gave me at that time, I probably don't get to go through everything that I've gotten to go through for the last 18 years. So John, thank you. Um, I know you know how much you've meant to me and um, what that time in my life was for me. So thank you. And I know you've had um, countless other influences on similar people. So keep up the great work. You've made a difference. John, I've thought about people and kind of moments in my life that have been um, impactful or you know maybe were pivotal and some of those moments in those people kind of cross over um, and John in my journey has crossed over in like three or four of those moments and things that have happened in my life that I look back and I say I wouldn't be where I am if it wasn't for you know that person so I'm really thankful that um, he's always been there for me I mean I've had ups and downs in, in my career and you know he was always there as a friend and as a mentor so um. the big thing with John and what I recognized immediately was that he had passion passion for the game passion for our profession and um, you know, with me, when I interview people, and I inter interviewed through my career a lot of people, 
uh, the number one thing I looked for was passion, and John had that in spades. You know, just the way John conducts himself, um, all the wonderful things he's done at Old Chatham, uh, totally became the general manager there. And uh, I know how highly the members there think of him. And uh, it's just no surprise. John is a quality family man. He's a really good player. He's gotten long. I know I've gotten short, but he's really gotten long. And uh, fun to play golf with. He's a leader. And uh, I'm really proud of him. And uh, just congratulations, John, on winning this prestigious award in this huge, great section of the Carolinas PGA. Along the way, I've had people who have supported me, and obviously my mother and father, who gave me the work ethic that I have, my family, my children, my wife, who has really supported all the hours that I've put into this, um, coming to work all the time, but also the membership here at Old Chatham. Uh, I couldn't do this without them and their support. Uh, all the presidents that we've had here at the club to really allow me to be myself here at the, the club and have encouraged me to really, you know, do a good job here and, you know, have the vision and, and sort of deliver the vision and the mission of, of the club. So I want to thank them for everything they've done for me. It means a lot to me. Um, it means so much to me that someone would think so highly of me to nominate me and the committee to, you know, award me this honor. So to be named Golf Professional of the Year and to follow in the footsteps of the winners before me uh, really means a lot and I'm very proud and, and humbled by this award and distinction to have this uh, bestowed upon me.